Hi, Tim Unker here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use GVim to create folders and files on your Windows 11 desktop, and also how to use Vim from the command prompt to do the same thing. So let's get started. First thing, I'm going to fire up GVim here, and I'm put in normal mode. If I do colon, that gets me into command mode, and I can run the command capital E X. That's going to put me in my base directory here, and now I can use J to go down to my desktop. I can hit enter to get into my desktop, and then to create a directory, all I have to do is type lowercase d. It says, please give the directory name down at the bottom of the screen. Let's just call this test-dir. I'll hit enter, and that directory has been created. Now, if I minimize this, you can see the test directory has been created here. Okay, if I want to create a file in that test directory, I'll bring back GVim back up, and I'll use J to navigate to test directory, hit enter to go in, and then do shift and five, the percent sign, to create a new file name. Let's do this test.txt. I'll hit enter. That's going to put me in that new file. I can then go into insert mode and start to type. So this is line one, this is line two, and so on. Once I'm done with all that, I can hit escape to go back into normal mode, then colon to get into command mode, W, hit enter, that's going to write the file, save the file. If I do colon Q, I can now quit out of GVim. Okay. If I go here to my test directory, you'll see this test file here, and then the .un with the ampersand, that's a thing that uh, GVim creates by default. Um, there are there is a command you can put into your vimrc or your gvimrc to have it not do that, but we've created our test.txt file. Okay, let's say I want to take this folder and get rid of it, so we can show you how to do that via the command line. And so I can bring up my command prompt. Now I have my terminal set to open to the command prompt. That's a topic for another video. Um, normally it opens to PowerShell, but let me open it up. Okay, so it opens up to the command prompt. Again, uh, if I want to list out the directories here, I can do dir, okay? And I see my directories, I can cd into my desktop here. Uh, I type cd and start to type the desktop and hit tab to autocomplete. Go into that, same thing, I can do dir to list out the directories. You see we don't have anything here. Um, now, there's a couple different options. I can go into the directory uh, with a vim space dot, like so, and then I can do d to create a new directory name. Let's do test-dir, hit enter, go back into the file here, or into the folder, and then do the percent sign, again, shift 5, type in uh, test, what's called test2.txt, do the same thing, go into insert mode, this is line 1, this is line 2, escape, colon W, and if I want to write and quit, I can do colon WQ, and there we go. We've written the file. If I list out my directory contents now, you see I have that, uh, well, test directory. If I CD into test directory here, and then uh, do DIR to list out the contents, we see we have test2.txt, and that other uh, .un with the ampersand file that uh, Vim creates there. If I want to cd up one directory, you can do cd space dot dot. That'll bring me up a directory. Again, if I list out the contents here, let me actually do cls to clear this out and list out the contents. And let's say I want to remove this and show you how to create, create these files via the command line. Uh, I can do rmdir uh, test dash directory. And it says the directory is not empty. So what I'll do is del test dash directory. That's going to say, do you want to delete basically all the files? That's what the star is in there. I say, sure. Okay, now I can do rmdir test directory, and you see it's gone. Okay, now if I want to create this via the command prompt, I can create a directory with make directory, so mkdir test dash dir, and we'll see the folder appears. Now if I cd into test dash dir, uh, in Linux, you can do touch test-3.txt. 
It says touch, touch is not recognized as an internal or external command. So we have to use the Windows command. Let me do CLS. Okay, so to create a file via the command prompt, what we can do is type null and then an arrow here. Uh, it's a right bracket and then test 3.txt. Okay, now if I do dir, I see I have this test 3.txt. I can now go in with vim test 3.txt and begin to edit the file and so forth. Once I'm done, I can escape and then colon wq to save the file and quit. And there we go. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.